In this problem, we travel to planet X and we watch an alien swing back and forth on a vine. And the reason we had to go to another planet is because G is going to be different here than it is on Earth. So I have this 10 meter vine with negligible mass swinging back and forth with a frequency of 0.2 hertz with this alien hanging off the end. And I'm given the angular amplitude for the swinging, in other words, the maximum angle. So first I want to get G near the surface of planet X. And the point here is that I'm trying to use the period formula for a simple pendulum. And I want to turn this around and solve for G. So I divide by 2 pi and then I square it. That gives me L over G. And then multiply both sides by G and multiply by the reciprocal of T over 2 pi all squared. And G is equal to L times 2 pi over T all squared. There's a little bit of a complication here, and it's that we were given the frequency 0.2 hertz. Remember that a hertz is an inverse second. This is an oscillation per second. And T and F are reciprocals of each other. So T is going to be 1 over 0.2 inverse seconds, and I get seconds out of the calculation. It gives me exactly 5 seconds. Now I can plug in. I have a 10 meter vine. 2 pi over 5 quantity squared. And I get that G is 15.8 meters per second squared. So G is substantially larger on planet X, which actually makes it so pendulums will swing faster if I look at my period formula. In part B, I want the maximum speed of the alien. And in another video, I derived a general formula for this. But in practice, I don't have that formula memorized. I just do a little bit of trigonometry when I run into a question like this. So it's an energy conservation question. I want to find the speed when the alien reaches the low point here. And I need to find out how much of a drop that is so I can use energy conservation. So I just made a little horizontal line. And the point of that was to create a right triangle. And I see that this leg is going to be an L cosine theta. I'll plug in the numbers later. But the string still has a length of L. And that means this little missing height right here is L minus L cosine theta. I'm going to put my origin of coordinates at the low point of the problem. So that's y equals 0. And then at the initial height where the alien is elevated by 11 degrees, that's going to be a height of L minus L cosine theta. Then we apply energy conservation. E initial equals E final. All the energy in the initial state is gravitational potential. This is the turning point for the alien, and V is equal to zero. So that's just an mgy initial. In my final state, it's all kinetic energy, one-half mv squared, and my m's cancel. So it turns out the mass of the alien doesn't matter. And I get that V is equal to the square root of 2gy initial. And that's the square root of 2g times L minus L cosine theta which if I'm trying to write in the nicest possible form, I would factor the L out of it, 2GL, 1 minus cosine theta. I plug in my numbers. Remembering that we're on planet X, so G is different now. It's 15.8. L was 10, then I have a 1 minus cosine 11 degrees. And the maximum speed of the alien comes out to 2.41 meters per second. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.